Hey everyone, this is Mo from WVW Networking Solution. As I promised you last time, I adopted three different GPON with three different plans. When I mean GPON, I mean the router that the client is going to have in their house. The first one, now don't be fooled by the size, it does not mean nothing. This one can do this one and this one can do that one. It's, it all depends on many other features. We will discuss them in one of the classes that we're going to be posting videos about. So this is the first one. This is set at 100 up, 100 down. This is set at 500 up, 500 down. And this one is set at 1 gig up and 1 gig down. Now, all these are connected to the same splitter. Splitter here is same as what you see in the poles or attached between cable. That's what inside it. Every drop is connected to that splitter, which is basically and simply a bunch of mirrors that deflect the signal coming in too so you can see here this is the signal coming in and these are I don't know maybe 16 coming out okay all right so this 3G pond this one are most likely to be used as a bridge but it could be used as a router too it does not have a Wi-Fi on it this one has a Wi-Fi port into it which is good acceptable but it also has four Ethernet ports this one can be powered by USB cable as you see or through a PoE this one can be powered by a PoE or a 24 volt block this one can be powered by a USB or a PoE so there is so many different features and how to power each one to what it's needed for that is the battery that is powering all these packs here I did not have enough plug so alright this is the plug coming in from the computer that we're going to test with it okay now i'm going to plug it in here okay let's say this client have one 100 up and 100 down so i'm going to plug it this is plugged in already and it is our speed test start it fingers 12 and the speed it's a little over 100 for the download and as you can see it's constant speed and about 100 in the upload now remember we have a 20 percent error and a hardware error it also depends on how busy is these people Let's move on to the second client. Well, this one I did not finish at 100%, but I'll show you the result that I got. So this one, my second client here, all right? I'm gonna plug it in. There you go. I plugged the computer to the second client. Oh. So the second client is set at 500 up and 500 down. So what we have in here, 400, 430, 440, and it's going up. If it doesn't have enough time to reach all the way up. So here we got 438, and the upload we're gonna have about 500. Now in my classes, if you're gonna follow my YouTube channel, I will be explaining how to build the whole system. How to get it functional same as big guys do but with the budgeting really affordable equipment and really affordable understanding and topology and how it works everything is simple everything is easy as it can be now we tested the hundred we tested the 500 all right let's now test the one gig up and one gig down okay connector is in and remember, all these three are connected to the same splitter. Here we can have four times two, that's eight, 16 houses can be fed from this one. All of them are the same speed. It's not gonna change anything. So let's get the download. 500, 600, 700, 800, and it's going up. Nine hundred, nine ten, nine thirty. It was going up, but it was not enough time to reach out all the way. 
to the speed required. But remember, we use a speed test that is not located in our location. This speed server is located somewhere in the United States. So the way we're gonna do it, we're gonna put our own speed test inside, okay? But because we are sharing the speed test platform with others, it's not always as accurate as it should be. But we are working and building ours. Let's give you a quick look right here what we're building it from. It's a Okla server. This is what is gonna be our speed test server here on site, which our client can use to test it. It will be certified by Okla themselves that we can use it and um, people can do their speed test from here. All right, so this is it. As I promised you last time, 100, 100, 500, 500, one gig, one gig. This one can do the one gig, this one can do the one gig, this one can do the one gig, this one can do the 100, this one can do the 100. It all depends on what package clients are used. If they don't want Wi-Fi, they have their own existing equipment, they just run the internet, plug and play, will plug into their existing router without changing anything and everything will go on. That's what they need. If they're not really streamers with Wi-Fi, they want everything through wires, but they need the Wi-Fi for some reason somehow once in a while, they go with this but if they want to use the wi-fi 6 everything is wi-fi but they want ethernet also this is the key for that it's all depends on what they're looking for there we go this is the beginning of the project like i said if you want to learn how i do all these and how i get all these function and we're not talking here about just i'll be just showing cable none and i will show you the build from zero how to build it and how to really design it how to implement it and how to get these results. You don't have to be a brainer for this, it's just a common sense. So follow me on my YouTube channel, like all my video please, and then I'll try my best to get all these videos up as soon as I can. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again.